Welcome to the new Shibuya Studio. This is a brand new video. It feels like a brand new start for me um, after becoming mom for the second time. Eight weeks ago, our little baby girl Ella was born. I'm for sure going to introduce you uh, to her in this video. She's napping right now, but probably will wake up soon. Um, and um, I'm not really starting with quilting yet, uh, although I'm kind of missing it. So I hope to get back to that soon. But first I want to finish the studio. So I've started painting it, uh, painting the walls, painting the floor. Hi there, future Irene here with a little announcement. On the 2nd of August, I'm going to host a Sugar Do Super Sale. So I'm cleaning out all my stuff that I moved from my old studio to this new one. I'm sorting through everything. Uh, and I have a lot to go on sale. I have fabric bundles, scrap bags, uh, a lot of crochet yarns, crochet kits, patterns. So all of it is going to go in the Shoo Do Super Steel starting the 2nd of August. The first few weeks Ella was napping a lot, so I had quite some time to do stuff in the studio. She's napping a little bit less lately, so uh, my time working is also less. Also means more baby cuddles. So I have no time schedule or plan or idea when the studio is going to be finished. At first I wanted to wait to make this video until everything was done. But that probably could take a while, so I thought let's make some studio vlogs and uh, show you what's happening here and what the plans are and um, what we're going to do with this space. Let's show you around. So over here we have the door to our home, uh, to our garage. And then um, we already moved some stuff in. So over here in this corner there is stuff. Um, Really not everything has moved in here yet. A lot is still upstairs um, But yeah over here, <laughs> there's already some things and uh, when all of this is packed away in uh, Cupboards bookshelves closets. What what's the word? <laughs> there will be desks over here uh, with my computer so I can do uh, work over here and Over here there is going to be I guess my um, uh, planning board. I have a super big planning board with a whole yearly overview which is awesome to work from so I can map out the whole year of launches of new uh, courses and patterns and write down all my ideas over there so I guess my planning board is going to be over there it's awesome to have it visible all the time because then you really know what's coming up it's great for uh, achieving your goal um, then we have some large doors over here and a drawer drawer cabinet on wheels uh, this is going to have all my um, um, like sewing supplies, uh, rotary cutters, all that stuff and also uh, tape rollers and things that I need to uh, pack my orders so then I can just roll it to wherever I'm working. This quill over here was a gift from our Dutch modern uh, quilt guild. I am going to show you in full. It was such an awesome present. Wait a sec. Look at that. It is such a super cool quilt. Uh, a lot of members of our guild worked on this and uh, it was a present for me because I was leaving the board uh, as a thank you. But it's a super cool quilt with lots of things. Uh, the quilt is called I Spy and um, uh, our little Mr. Shield already uh, looked at it and he saw all the things and was pointing out everything. It was so fun. So again, to all the members of the Dutch Morning Quilt Guild, thank you so much. I really love it and it's going to... First, I guess, I'm going to hang it on the wall over there so I can look at it and then um, uh, it's going to move to uh, the play area in our home. Somebody's waking up. Oh, hi everyone. This is baby Ella. Mission sleeping baby accomplished. That is a little baby Ella. So let's see, where was I? Um, oh yeah, the quilt. I showed you the quilt that I received. 
and a little drawer cabinet that is going to be under my workspace, my big table that's going to be in the center. Uh, and I'm going to show you the plan for that as well. At the moment here I have my Q16, but I'm planning to place that in the center of the room when everything is done. Um, so then it's easier for me to film tutorials while I'm behind the machine and um, well I can look outside then uh, instead of uh, facing a wall. And this wall I am going to leave uh, empty, yes. Um, because that's a perfect spot to photo, uh, to make pictures of quilts, to photograph quilts. Uh, yeah, so that wall is going to stay empty. And I think I'm going to make some kind of a hanging system maybe. I have to figure out something to easily hang quilts there. Um, yeah, so that's going to stay as it is. And on this long uh, wall over here, I kind of did the same as in my previous studio. So I'm going to fill that whole wall with um, Billy bookshelves because the quilting fabric fits perfectly on Billy bookshelves. Um, so that is almost done. Um, just have to place the Billy's against the wall over there and um, have to uh, fill in some of the gaps between those um, what are they called? Pegboards? Those boards with little holes where I can hang all the stuff. Yeah, so that's almost done. Um, but I guess what I can do today is pack away all the fabric. So uh, yeah, fill the, the billies with fabric. So then that's moved away and I hope also the sound gets a little bit better when all the fabric is in the shelves. What we have here is two IKEA uh, collags. What is it called? It's not a closet, it's not a uh, shelves, uh, collax shelves. So those are not going to go against the wall, but they are going to make the base of my workstation. So here in the center, I have blue lines. <laughs> and this is kind of the, the blueprint haha, with blue lines um, uh, for uh, my workstation. So this, I'm not sure where I'm going to use it though, but uh, it's not going to stay here in the middle. Here we have some power outlets. Um, and this area marks one of the Kallax shelves. And this area marks a second um, Kallax shelf. So they're going to be over there. And then here we are going to make some custom um, shelves. And then on top of it, so this area, <laughs> that is going to be um, where my sewing machine is going to be and where I can fold and pack orders. Over there is going to be uh, my uh, cutting area. So I'd like my cutting area to be a little bit higher than uh, this height. This height is really nice for me to uh, sit and sew, but to cut it's a little bit too low. So that cutting area is going to be a little bit higher. So that's a cool project that I'm going to make with my father-in-law. Super excited about it because we're also going to make my sewing machine sink into the table so that the whole um, table is sewing area. And that is what I really love about the Q16, that it comes with a table. So that when you have your fabric, um, yeah, you don't, uh, yeah, <laughs> this whole table is your working area. Whereas with a sewing machine, of course, the working area is this space uh, with a um, table that you slide onto it. But we're going to make the table at uh, this height so that the whole table is going to be the working area for the sewing machine. That That is going to be so awesome. I uh, can't wait to have that finished and I really can't wait to sew something again. So I guess that is all the way around. Um, over here, baby Ella is sleeping. And um, let's see what I'm going to do with this wool. Uh, I haven't completely decided yet, but I think I'm going to make some more shelves over there. 
And then those two, and those are some old shelves that I already had um, in the old, previous studio, but I'm um, not sure if I'm going to use them or uh, how I'm going to use them. So this is going to be uh, empty, I guess, until I really need more storage space. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for um, your patience and waiting for me to uh, be back again filming and um, I got so many wonderful, lovely messages that I should take my time and uh, that I shouldn't rush to get back and it really, really uh, made me so happy to read that all. Thank you so much for that. So, um, that's it. Uh, Ella is still sleeping, so I'm going to pack away some of the fabric. So that really is the end of this video. All the fabric is sorted and almost all the shelves are uh, done. So um, next week, or next week, I don't think next week, but in a few weeks I'm going to show you um, how we're doing with um, the workstation that we're going to make in the center of the space. Hope to have the studio kind of almost finished when, uh, when the next video will be up. So hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.